Hi, I'm Dr. Sumar Raju, consultant nephrologist at Narayana Multi Speciality Hospital and former faculty at uh, Los Angeles County Medical Center, University of Southern California. So today we'll talk about whom to screen for kidney disease, how and why. Early kidney disease usually has no symptoms. So whoever has these risk factors should undergo a screening test. So who has diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, or any family history of kidney disease should be undergoing a screening test. So what do we do as a screening test? We normally check routine urine tests, a blood test, and if required, we do an ultrasound scan of the abdomen. When we look at the urine, we look for specific things like protein and blood in the urine and in the blood we look for serum creatinine which is a marker of kidney function so when we do the ultrasound of the abdomen we look for a kidney size and to rule out if there's any blockage in the urinary system the most common causes of kidney disease is diabetes and high blood pressure as we talk about high blood pressure I would like to mention that high blood pressure could be a marker of kidney disease having said that whoever has been detected with hypertension should definitely undergo a screening test to rule out if there's any kidney disease. So high blood pressure for a long time can lead to kidney disease. On the other hand, kidney disease could present as hypertension. It is very important at the detection of high blood pressure to rule out kidney disease. So as I mentioned in the urine, we look for two specific things, protein and blood. That signifies there is some damage to the filters in the kidney, which is causing leakage of this blood and urine. Diabetes for a long time can result in these two things like the protein and the blood in the urine. In the absence of uh, diabetes and high blood pressure, we need to look for other causes which is uh, damaging the filters in the kidney. If we do find out that you have kidney disease based on these tests, what do we do now? If you are a diabetic, the key thing is to control your sugars tightly because once the damage occurs, it cannot be reversed. Only thing what we can do is to control your sugars and delay the progression of kidney disease. And if you do have high blood pressure, you need to take medications and lifestyle changes to control your blood pressure so that we can delay the progression of kidney disease. Oftentimes, we've been asked, like, are there any medications for kidney disease? If the kidney disease is because of diabetes and hypertension, the only thing is to control them by taking medications for your diabetes and high blood pressure. And we do add a pill which controls the blood pressure as well as control the protein in the urine. So that way we can delay the progression of kidney disease. And it is very important to avoid taking painkillers which may damage the kidneys further and cause progression of kidney disease sooner. So if you do think if you have any of the risk factors mentioned, I think you need to be screened for kidney disease with at least a basic urine test, a blood test, and an ultrasound scan and consult your doctor. Thank you.